Valentine's Day is just around the corner and I felt like telling you guys a story. This might sound a little weird at first, but bear with me. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a young girl named Laura. She used to spend summer at her grandparents' farm where she would spend a whole day playing outside, climbing trees, not afraid to get dirty. Every day at four o'clock in the afternoon, her grandpa would call her in for a delicious snack. So, as the clock hit four that day, she heard him call out her name. And when she got there, her grandpa offered her a cup with a thick green substance inside. Ew, she thought. Avocado smoothie. No thanks. I don't like it. How do you say I don't like it if you don't drink? Drink it. I don't like it. You are not going to leave this kitchen unless you drink it all. Just gross. How can people drink this? She thought. She could not help it but to be angry at her grandfather for making her drink that poison. But like all troubles in life, this one was cured with time and the absence of avocados in her life. Years went by and Laura and her family moved to Dallas. So she made a whole bunch of new friends and one day her Mexican friend invited her over. They were watching TV when her friend got out of the couch and came back with a bowl containing a familiar green shade. Do you want some? It made her shiver. What is it? It's guacamole. Okay, but what's in it? Um, avocado, lemon, pepper, salt, mm, salt pepper. No thanks, I don't like avocados. It's nonsense, you didn't even try it. But I have tried it. At this time, a flashback came into Laura's mind and oh, she could remember every detail of that day her grandpa made her drink the whole cup of avocado smoothie. It was a smoothie. Oh, come on. It's different, try it. Stephanie scooped up some guacamole with a tortilla chip okay. and gave it to Laura. She didn't want to be rude, so she took it and ate it. As she bit down the crunchy chip and the green guacamole, she could not believe her taste buds. Well, do you like it? Yes! <laughs> I love it! I told you! Is this really avocado? Yeah! Her taste oh buds God. had betrayed her. It's really good. It was delicious. How could this be? It's so fresh. Yes. From then on, folks, guacamole became one of her favorite foods until this very day. But she never forgot that first experience. Moral of the story is, don't let a bad love experience block you from new ones. Keep an open heart, forgive, and let go. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs>